first series, it was just way up there. So it was just back to back action. And now for Nova and HKA, polar opposites when it comes to their play style. We'll see whether or not it's going to change because of their their picks more, more specifically. And as well as we know how much of a time bomb Aphelios is on paper when it comes to the late game. So perhaps there's still a lot of respect for that pick in general. Yeah, we'll have to see here. We're going to be loading on Twitter quite shortly. I hear the epic music. I hear our intro music. And I finally see the game. Let's get things underway here for our second match of the night. Get settled in. It's going to be a long one, it seems, here as we have Hong Kong Attitude taking on Nova to keep their dreams alive here in playoff. And for me, I hope that the break that Nova managed to uh, get from last week's utter defeat against Talon um, was, is enough to be able to get that refresher. And now for Nova, early vision towards this red buff. Uh, the usual that we see, I want to see where Ryan is going to be mainly trying to target, especially he's gone for, we were talking a little bit during that pause, you know, what we could expect for Ryan as far as like the Keystone, has opted into the Dark Harvest, so this is really screaming Ryan, needs to get the ball rolling in these lanes, really needs to apply pressure. Uh, we have seen him play it a couple times back when he was in Challengers Korea, once or twice, and then I believe also one or two games in 2016. Not a whole lot of competitive experience when it comes to this Nidalee. So nonetheless, we'll see if they're going to go for a bit of a late invade here over to Hong Kong Attitude, as it doesn't look like the Trundle's going to be starting on the bot side of the map. Not a bad idea here to try and at least force some aggression as that ward goes down. They get themselves stunned, but there's three members, so they'll push in. You will see as Nova will still push through this invade, as HKA will just up to go back to lane and meanwhile probably as uh, the two junglers will try and get that vertical uh, jungling set up for them um we'll have to see as there's no vision on the blue area for nova yeah ryan though will be spotted out there by a quick ward so we'll see whether or not ryan is going to be able to actually make it to his blue buff in time as hollow has actually just gone buff to buff it does appear though that ryan knows what's up so he might be able to at least try and answer this as He'll go over the wall. He sees that again. Buff is going to be taken. There you go. Oh, okay. There's the smite in. So it seems to me Hollow got the best end of the deal with that early two buff start. And for Nova, uh, for Ryan in particular, will just play standard and uh, not able to get any sort of deny away from Hollow. So the Trundle won't fall behind. I know Ryan probably would have loved to at least been able to answer that. Unfortunately, when you're dealing with, say, an Azir in the mid lane, G4 can't really hard push out the lane to help assist you to try and track down the Trundle. As he needs that level 2 before he can really start to push in the lane hard. So a little unfortunate there on the side of Nova. But nonetheless, uh, HKA, they're able to handle that invade quite nicely as Ryan can't pick up it. Yeah, and it's, so at this point where I'm a little bit worried, I mentioned before the during the draft that CC wise, it's not the best combo um, for pre level six for G4 and Ryan, and as well as perhaps even for Rocky when Ryan decides to visit that top side of the map. At least for Hollow, you do have that pillar to bank on, and as well as the innate slow that you have with the red buff and G4. Now reaching level four, gonna get that ward. You're gonna walk towards danger. It's gonna flash away wow. holo flashes as well there's a lot of autos there's jimmy and using the flash as well and the first blood will go to hka so there for holo he's actually the first one to strike on the map there and unfortunately for g4 ends up trying to flash over the wall not going back to his tower there wasn't a whole lot he could really do there so uh not the start they're looking for and we wanted to see this nidalee be the first one on the board but uh, Hollow is the aggressive one on the Trundle as he's able to pick up first blood. So nicely done here for Hong Kong Attitude to start things off on game one as, yeah, G4 wanted to get some vision down and instead he gets all kind of jangled up there. Hollow's able to interrupt the dash to his soldier. So not a whole lot that four is here can really do. Yeah, and I think that was perfect timing. I think HKA really does know how to, to just catch Nova off guard. Can we also talk of the massive BM for Jiminen who ended up <laughs> using the mega icon as his emote? That's insane. Oh, dear. I love it. <laughs> HKA came out to play and also using, you know, the psychological warfare against their opponent. Yeah. Oh, that's a massive, <laughs> massive amount of BM. I love it.
I love it. As uh, uh, you know, what you got to strike oh on dear. all fronts in playoffs when you're going up against mm -hmm. your opponents. There is. Oh, that's that's a tilter. That's a tilter. I love it. Uh, I love, yeah, it's great. It's great. And and the thing is, um, especially G4, um, not just wanted to get down vision, uh, got caught out. Means HKA really does sort of read the room when it comes to the early game decisions of Nova. Um, uh, yeah, and we do a little bit of throwback in the PCS. Uh, regular season in general, this matchup is one and one. HKA won their very first game against Nova when they first encountered during the latter stages of the second round robin though, Nova is able to even that score out. And now we're seeing them in a new light with the series and as well as the draft. I'm liking though some good vision coming out from Ryan. He's still keeping track of where this trundle is mainly pathing, so he keeps the rest of his lane safe. 3Z's actually been bullied out quite a bit here by Rocky, already having to use this teleport once and now having to walk back to lane. That's a massive amount of tempo lost here for that Mordekaiser. On top of that too, you're losing experience and gold, but mid lane, HKA still firing on all cylinders. Oh, and that is the last shot. Not even looking for help from Hollow. It works out really, really well. And with that said, G4 ain't having the best time in the mid lane. I'm actually shocked they decided not to try and crash more onto that tower. Now I'm going to try and get the first plate. Nonetheless, though, that's now Illusion that's able to pretty much find a solo kill in mid lane where G4 wasn't really able to answer. And it's just pretty much perfectly that final bullet in the culling is able to help do enough damage to finish him off with the Ignite. Uh, Hollow didn't even need to actually make an appearance there in mid. Yeah, and the Flash is not available for G4 as well to try and dodge that and be out of range. So that is quite unfortunate uh, for the side of G4. And in the meantime, it is usually the start for Nova to see this kill score on their side. But now for HKA, they seem to be playing this one uh, really, really well and matching the pace that Nova is usually set out to do. I'm going to give Mixed Cross here, though. He's been able to keep himself relatively safe in this lane, and he didn't actually get poked out early enough to interrupt his first item buy, which is going to be the BF Sword. So the Aphelios is not having too much of a bad time in that lane. I'd like to see whether or not, though, if Hollow's going to try and make an appearance now that he does have his Predator uh, with the boots already picked up in his inventory. So we'll see whether or not they want to try and combo that with a, you know, Tempered Fate from Wing if he does get the level 6. Meanwhile, though, with that, they get enough priority in the bot lane that it allows Wing to come up and help. You also have Jimmy in there, so that should be a very easy dragon here for Hong Kong attitude to get things rolling. Okay. This is the usual trend for aggressive teams in general. They would like to give up the first two dragons of the game so that they can focus on farming and see when they get their first few items, especially during the, uh, especially for the jungle and try to make visits and especially top side too. So what Ryan is going to do is getting that consolation prize and denying these few camps away from Hollow. Yeah, Ryan's going to be able to take that and he's able to at least power farm his way. You're on in Italy, so that's expected, but. Uh, elsewhere, Hollow's been able to at least take objectives and at least interrupt the flow of Nova's play. Well, Ryan, we talked about this Nidalee is pretty much feast or famine. He's at least getting gold through the jungle, and with this, you should be able to also get the Rift Herald, as it does not appear that Hong Kong Attitude are going to be able to really try and respond to this, as he had a lot of top lane pressure. So, with the help of Rocky also having a pretty massive CS advantage and consistently forcing 3Z back to his base, that does unlock the Rift Herald pit for Ryan. Yeah, it's crazy, and uh, Hollow hasn't exactly made an appearance just yet, as he was focused more on bot side and getting that first dragon for themselves. And um, with this said, 3Z gonna reel Rocky in. Is it? It's not a bait for as a... Actually, it is a bait. Wing is actually heading down with Hollow as well, so we'll have to see. Rocky does have his flash. Who will pull the trigger? No, no Freezy getting me. chunked a little bit. There's the journey coming in. World Ender gonna get started. We can see Jimin also work, work, working towards top side as well. There is the realm inside for 3Z, but I don't think you can escape against three members. Yeah, I said they don't have a tempered fate to lock him down, but then you gotta realize, oh yeah, there's a Mordekaiser. That's pretty much a point and click tempered fate, except you just get taken to a different rift pretty much at that point. So unfortunately there for Rocky, there isn't really any escape and he didn't try and just go for the 1v1 against 3Z, which honestly, he may have been able to actually get a kill at least in the very end to trade back for his life. But 
Not too bad here as Hong Kong Attitude with that should be able to equalize the gold in the top side of the map as 3Z is able to also claim himself at turret plate. They sit pretty at, at a 500 gold lead over Nova. Yeah, at least they managed to equalize what happened from earlier considering Rocky has been um, forcing 3Z to use teleports after teleports just to go back in lane. And, and in the meantime, I feel like, yeah, that was definitely needed. And I, I just want to point out what I really like about the HKA um, composition is that usually when you have that mage bot lane, you're always worried about who's going to be your uh, range damage dealer. But because of this Lucian pickup, it sort of equalizes still while answering towards that Aphelios threat in the bottom side of the map. No here, though. Should be able to at least claim the Scuttle Crab. So Ryan's going to at least start to be able to pressure toward the bot side of the map. And like you mentioned, this Aphelios hasn't really been targeted a whole lot. Eminem and Wing, uh, with Wing actually passing towards the top side of the map, meant that Eminem was getting solo lane. So he's been able to get some solo experience. And of course, Syndra will get to the point where she is able to outplay you by just simply pressing the ultimate button. Uh, once she's able to get a couple items. But I think now with Wing especially having his Tempered Fate available, we should be seeing a lot more action down towards the bot side of the map. And I think with Holo already picking up his two kills, that's a good start. Again, the 1v1 in top lane. All World Ender will be used to escape. There are two members going towards top side, though 3Z will not see this coming. He's trying to bait 3Z into the fight. Unfortunately, the spear did not connect. That is two members in mid lane, though. There's the shifting sands. G4 is going to hit the Colleen, going to hit the pillar, and the Emperor's Divide is not going to stop the trundle at all. And that is another kill for HKA. All right, so Nova are going to at least try and get something toward the top side of the map here. They put down Rift Herald immediately as it is just Wing and 3Z at the moment, just trying to hold on to that. And Mixcross has got to be careful here. Whew! Decent chunk of damage comes out and forces out his heal. That is very, very close. And with that, it's just action from top side to bot. Yeah, because here we see Hollow's been able to make so many appearances now, especially in this mid lane. For G4, I hate to say it, this is getting into the realm where you're starting to feel a little less confident, especially in mid lane now that the fact that he doesn't have Flash available. He's going to be another prime target. And man, Eminem is almost being able to get himself now two solo kills on Mixcross. And at this point, Pop is going to have a really tough time actually roaming around the map on his Recon because he should be staying now for the bot side or else Eminem is going to be able to find kills on Mixcross. We've seen it now twice here almost underneath the tower. G4, though, looking for a roam. Okay, no Flash, though, for G4. And uh, going to have to rely on Pop for that engage. And for Holo, he will not get spotted by a ward, oh, actually. Um, he's getting that pillar on towards uh, the Zir. And another dragon has spawned for uh, for HKA being in control at the moment. And unfortunately, because Rocky got killed uh, during that gank earlier on a couple minutes ago, it's actually set up the situation where Hong Kong Attitude have teleport advantage. If 3Z wants to join in on this fight for a dragon at any point, they can make that call to say, we want to have the man advantage. Rocky may be able to be able to trade back a turret in top lane uh, once the turret plates go down as G4 getting very aggressive. And he should know, Jimian always has backup. Oh, it's so close. And oh. there's the Empress Divide, not a able to push anyone off towards the tower. And in the meantime, while that is an almost good bait, unfortunately, a lot has been invested for the side of Nova. And with that, G4 has to go back to base. He doesn't have teleport available, and this is pretty much an uncontested dragon now for the side of Hong Kong Attitude, unless Ryan's able to make a miracle steal, but he decides against it. And there you go, second tower uh, dragon goes over to HK. I am so scared um, of Holo right now. They've usually we see Nova, who is always everywhere at the beginning of the game. Unfortunately, Holo has been just creating the pressure and taking advantage of G4's weak early game on the on the Azir, and as well as how there's not a lot of vision to work with um, for Nova on both rivers. And unfortunately now, this mid lane matchup isn't going to get all a lot easier for G4. Uh, especially the fact that you now Jimmy News just rushed his Merc Tread. So he's able to, you know, take a little bit extra damage from G4 and try and go for those bait plays like we've seen. Ryan, though, pathing up toward topside, wants to apply pressure. There is going to be second Rift Shield here, but uh, HKA could easily answer this. 
Yeah, with Wing already nearby for that roam, and um, Pop actually just got back to head on over to the Herald. And with this, the question is whether or not HKA would like to roam. Actually, no, because Eminem is fine as is. It's more that it's more of Nova does not have an AD carry if they don't rotate mix cross because Jimian will be that answer when they want to contest these plays. And once Pop shows himself on the map, you can almost guarantee that Eminem is going to get very aggressive if he stays down in that bot lane because he's also been able to finish off his GLP. So that means mix cross can't really even stay within range of him or else he will get slowed and then just combo to death. And he doesn't have heal up for about another 30 seconds, so he has to play very carefully or we might just see Eminem get himself a solo kill on the Syndra. And that's absolutely scary. It is indeed possible. You got Sork's Boots already. You're gonna have to set those spears in. HKA gonna remove Vision away from Nova, even removing control. And with this, um, if Ryan staying at the bottom part of the map means he has conceded Rift Herald. That means Rift Herald goes over in favor of HKA for the second one of the game. They can even use that if they really want to, to try and open up 3Z's lane and try and provide him a little bit of support so he can go into a different side lane to apply pressure. Lots of pings though coming down toward this bot lane, but you see Eminem already realizing he's in danger and goes all the way back to his second tier tower. And that denies any sort of early game kill once more. Um, um, for Ryan, he has been trying his best to speed up the farming process, finish his uh, jungle item first before anything else. G4 chunked a whole lot. And and at this point, HK is like, mission accomplished. We're going to portal out. We've already ruined your tower in mid. Yeah, first tower now goes over to Hong Kong Attitude. So that's going to provide some extra gold to Jimian on the Lucian as he's already picked up his pork. So... Uh, he's going to start working toward his second item. And we have not seen this Nidalee make the impact in the lanes that we initially thought, especially when you're going something like Dark Harvest. Well, he hasn't gotten a single Dark Harvest stack, to my knowledge at this point, he hasn't gotten an assist on any low targets. And that's not what you're looking to do here if you're on the side of Ryan. He's able to at least keep up in gold as well as items by the sheer fact that he's able to farm like a madman because, of course, he is on a Nidalee. So you have a pretty cl fast clear once you have a couple items. Uh, but other than that, it's been rather quiet, and now Jimian can actually decide to go into the side lane now and try and pressure against Mixcross, who has still the support of Pop, but Wing is always nearby. Exactly. And uh, they've swapped a little bit, and it seems the next objective will be the Dragon. Um, I did mention, it's all about giving up those two Dragons. It's fine as long as you're able to sacrifice other things in the map, especially top side. But now... Seems to me Nova hasn't been able to take advantage of that. Tower goes down in mid, and ooh, you see Eminem, he's even fishing for a scatter of the week there onto G4, which uh, this Syndra is only going to get scarier as the game goes. The first item GLP is already finished off, and we saw a couple times it was off cooldown because he's just hunting for kills on any of these lanes where he's going into a 1v1. And this puts Mixcross in a bit of an awkward situation where he's going to have to just continue to farm out. But Hollow is nearby. He's going to see it on a ward. So that's got to be him getting to safety. What? Oh, he ate everything. He ate everything. My, oh, my. That's a Rift Carol to boot. And Pop was actually nearby. They weren't able to respond because Hollow was zoning them out. So you're going to hear me say what once again because I have no reasoning in my head to come up with for Mixcross trying to ult back onto this Lucian when it just makes it so he stands still oh. and gets caught out and now HK they're on the hunt. Oh, they're jumping on Pop right now and there's no use, there's no escape and at this point HKA is just on hunting duty right now but especially they've already eliminated the AD carry, they've shut down G4 very early making, putting it on a 0-3-0 score. This is Definitely not the usual Nova that we see that wins the games. And I, I, I don't have any reasoning here because Mixcross also had Flash available. He tried to save himself with heal, and that's just another misplay here. And the fact that Nova knows that Hollow is down here in the jungle, there's no reason, and I have to really go harsh here on Pop. He should know that he is in trouble at this point. I get your, you know, Rakani, you got a little bit of mobility in your kid, obviously. But the fact that you know a Trundle was just below you and now is hunting the Nidalee, I don't see any reason for him to stick around in that jungle just trying to provide vision, which has already been given up here. And with that, it's now a 3,000 gold lead for Hong Kong Attitude. And Rocky has been kind of left alone ever since that first gank, but now HK can always go aggressive on him. 
All 3Z though half HP is trapped in the realm with 3Z now. HK just lying in wait for Rocky and there's again no escape. Pop tried his best. He doesn't have quickness at the moment. That's a tempered fate. Not gonna connect. It doesn't matter as HK again in the lead. Yeah, zero to seven as far as your kills go. That's three dragons also that have been secured by HK as they also took the third dragon of the game. And now they're setting themselves up for Ocean Soul and Man, imagine giving over Ocean Soul when you have a late game style team comp that's going to be focused on DPS. So that's going to allow, you know, Eminem and Jimin if they get poked out early during a fight and if HK can look for a disengage, it's going to go well. And unfortunately, that's not where you need to be, Nova. Oh, they looks like they managed to escape as G4 is trying his best to split push something, at least something off of the map. And let's take a look at this again. It is the unfortunate overextended Rocky at the point where slowly the lanes are open. And with that said, um, you see that Pop and as well as Ryan are nearby, but uh, not able to buy some time. And so far, like, HK have just looked like the better team overall, and especially near the end of the regular season split. They had a really tough first round Robin where I believe they only picked up two wins. Nova, they were pretty much the even going team. They lost a couple games, they would win a couple games. Uh, but especially toward the end of the split, we started to see Nova, and for, and for all arguments sake, started to fall apart when it came to their play style, and especially in their communication, especially now where G4 can easily got, get caught out here if he's not careful. And that could be the case. Again, as 3Z is nearby, Wing as well. He uses the Emperor's Divide. Let's see if that's going to be helpful as Eminem is also in the vicinity, and the kill will go to the Syndra. I, this is just... Nova is falling down like dominoes right now. Like, if you take a look at the minimap, what is the vision here for G4? Why is he here? He should know. I don't care if you have a board in the river at the brush you're standing next to. Look behind you. The fact that these guys could have actually went around the dragon pit or went through the tri bush, there's absolutely no reason for G4 to be in a side lane that far forward with the lack of vision that is on the side of Nova. If you want to try and go for that play, you need vision at least in toward the river entrance so that you have time to escape, especially against the fact that you're against a Bard. Wing can actually engage with his ultimate if he wanted to. It didn't have to be 3Z there hiding in a brush. That wouldn't. That still would have been the case where G4 would have, get, would have been taken down. And, and you can tell how desperate they are. Okay, they want to get this pick off as Rocky will initiate the fight. G4 will go shifting Sands in. Flash still not being used. There's the reel in. There's a teleport coming Eminem. from Eminem. GLP, G4, quite low. That's Outplayed. an instant burst from the Unleashed Power. And meanwhile, Holo will try to remove the escape path of Rocky with the pillar. The rest of the members from Nova are trying to catch up, coming from the bot side jungle. But at this point, Rocky very half, already half HP. The heal is not going to be enough as Nova will have to be forced to use a flash. Ryan is now in danger as well. The real end is not going to connect, but it don't matter against five people at the bot side of the map. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to have to say it here. If you're Nova, you're pretty much saying GG go next because unfortunately, it just seems there's absolutely no communication from the squad. There isn't enough vision to keep their members safe. We just saw the exact same play come out from G4 and Rocky. That was a set play where they burn a teleport trying to make play happen, and they end up losing inhibitor. Hong Kong Attitude are currently on track for a perfect game at this point, as long as they don't give up a single kill. And that could be possible. Uh, they're far, way far ahead. They've been catching Nova one at a time. And even though Nova was the one that started this one, they invested so much. And Eminem was just there with teleports. And it's just utter chaos. And HKA is just living it. Like, there's absolutely no no reason to go for this play. Like, even without the teleport there, you saw the vision coverage that was down for the side of Nova. HKA could have been in the bot side jungle for all they know, and they would have still been able to get here in time, even with Nova roaming over. And then you have the fact that 3Z survived the initial fight, that he was able to get a teleport. Now, poor Ryan, sure you got thumbs up, buddy, but unfortunately, I'm going to give you a thumbs down so far on the performance of the rest of the squad, because this has been, I'm going to say for the better lack of turn, it's been painful to watch, because again, this is vision issues that we have seen time and time again from the Southeast Asian teams that have absolutely devastated them when it comes to them getting picked up time and time again. And now that's Ocean Soul online here for Hong Kong Attitude. 
And it's actually amusing to say that 20 seconds ago I was thinking, okay, Lich Vein already for Riot, uh, but it's a little bit too late already because Jimin was so ahead and now they're marching towards this tower with no contest. If G4 tries to push forward and try to clear the waves, he will endanger his life. And with that Paulo, Roman from the side, he's looking for an engage. Nicely done, stun, scatter the weak, and G4 instantly blows into smithereens. And with that said, Baron is up. Will HKA go there? And I, unfortunately, this has been, I think for Nova, one of their worst games of the split. Now, of course, this is still a best of three series. There's always an opportunity to come back. And I think this is a harsh le lesson that the team is going to have to learn that, you know what, if you want to try and go for this nilly, unfortunately, Ryan's got to be a little bit more proactive. You even saw during the last fight there before this Baron was taken that Ryan was sitting over on the side in full vision, by the way, of HKA throwing spears, and they just didn't even pay attention. They know this nilly can do absolutely nothing, even if he hits a spear, because they will be able to collapse on him. And they've taken down now G4, 0 and 6. This is a rough performance for the, again, star mid laner when it comes to Thailand. Yeah, I, I have to agree with you that this is the toughest game that G that Nova in general had to face in the entirety of PTS. And, and the big question is, since HK has Dragon Soul, they have uh, Baron as well. I think the big question for me is, uh, how can they pick themselves up at the next game? Because this looks really grim and it's as a fan of the former lsd um region it's i really pray that they manage to get this reset because uh, it, it's looking really tough in this game and it's a little bit of an unfortunate situation because you've got to consider now i thought the weak point for this team especially in this draft would have been mixed cross because you're putting a lot of faith on him on the Aphelios, and he's actually been the one that has been caught yeah. out meanwhile you have g4 getting blown up underneath inhibitor towers because he's not respecting the fact that Jimian can easily walk up with the help of Eminem and press R. And that seems to be the case now. They're storming towards the base of Nova. 20 seconds on the clock more or less for G4 to respond. And that seems to be Nova just going to be poking it out, throwing some spears. And with that said, Eminem setting for another scatter of the week. Pop managed to dodge right that out. but. With that said, it's going to be a temporary 4v5 for Nova. This could be the last stand, but they are so behind right now with HKA is going to be satisfied just marching down towards the base. Now they're going to be focused here towards Nova. Maybe oh someone's Lord. slowly whittling them down, and that's going to be the Aphelios ult. Rocky in the middle they of it all. Nova, kill. watch their base fall and their members. And HKA managed to get a perfect game for the first time in the PCS. What a way to open this series. Even some BM using the mega icons. I don't blame them. That is a perfect game coming out from Hong Kong attitude against Nova in game one. And it is a, a plethora when it comes to the mistakes made here by Nova. First off, vision control. I hate to say it, what are you doing? There is absolutely no reason for the amount of vision loss here, especially the fact where you have in Italy where you're going to have, of course, traps going out through the course of the rip. But there are so many times where you're teleporting blindly into a side lane just to get 2 v one And then even there, especially underneath the inhibitor tower, I have to oh, harp yeah. G4. No reason to be that close. Absolutely no reason. And I, I feel bad actually here for Mixcross because this was a game where he was doing actually all right. He wasn't dying. He was farming up. Mm -hmm. He was doing his job as mm -hmm. the Aphelios to get to the point where he'd be able to carry the rest of Nova. But Nova, unfortunately, left, left him out to rot because they just didn't give him time. Yep, props to Holo for just really ruining G4's game, if not day for tonight. And uh, at this point, yes, because I... It was just the draft for me. It's just so hard to execute, considering the fact that I did mention if you're going to bank on mid jungle synergy and top jungle synergy, CC is not there to hold people in place to much of a choice. But let's take a look here uh, at this really chaotic attempt coming from Nova to at least get a cash in on one of the bounties. But Eminem was just so ahead already. And it's I even argue that Eminem wasn't that far ahead at this point. It was G4 was knocked down so early in this game and wasn't able to recover. 
But once again, you take a look at the minimap. What was the vision here for the side of Nova? What is your ideal scenario? What do you gain if you kill 3Z when it came to this whole fight, even if you get 3Z in the end of this? Unfortunately, they're not able to, and I think that was a great summary when you take a look on uh, and look at this game as a whole was that replay where there's no vision from Nova. They're rushing to make decisions, trying to at least, you know, fight back and get maybe one kill in response. But you take a look there, they weren't able to get a single kill in response. They weren't able to take an objective in response. That is how clean Hong Kong Attitude were able to play. And if I was saying these praises about Hong Kong Attitude in the middle of the season, people would call me nuts. Because you'd say, <laughs> this is Hong Kong Attitude making this. This is the team that will wait 40 minutes until they have six upgraded Orn items to at least consider taking a fight. No, they were proactive. Hollow was all over the map on this trundle, making plays happen and get the team ahead. And I think it has something to do with confidence. So we did mention that HKA's start was quite shaky and it had something to do with the lack of experience that um, most of the roster had. And at this point, they've managed to garner that experience, get that confidence, especially against Nova. Well, we're going to go ahead and take a short break. We'll see whether or not Nova are able to composure themselves a little better and try and turn this series around in game two.